Hey everybody, Seth Opern here. Today we're gonna to talk to you about how to do a virtual open house. This may be second nature for some of you guys who are comfortable on camera. For some of you, you may freeze up, you may faint, you may sweat, you may be uncomfortable. Today I have my partner, Sean Kinney, who works with the O'Byrne team and Compass. And we're gonna not only show you how we do an open house, we're gonna tell you some tips and tricks and way to do it relatively successfully. Talk us through what we use, the phone, the gimbal. To tell us about what that is and how much that costs. One of the main things for a walkthrough or a virtual tour where there's movement is a stabilizer or a gimbal. Because if you're just using handheld, it's going to be really shaky. Virtual tours, it shouldn't be like the Blair Witch Project. Yes. It should be. <laughs> We're not trying to show you what it feels like if you're running away from Sasquatch. We're trying to show you what it's like to walk through a multi-million dollar home. Stabilizer or a gimbal basically is just going to give you that smooth footage. You can get one for 80 bucks, upwards to like 200 bucks for the good ones. Get a nice cheap stabilizer. Mm, okay. Basically, you have a setup right there. So there's there's two people, right? So there's me, the person in front of the camera, and then there's you, the person behind the camera. What does that person that's holding the camera need to think about in order to do a good job? Basically, you want me to get it really quick. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. dun. Please hold. This whole setup with the phone, it's really light. Anybody could do this. You can get your kid in quarantine to help you out. You want to hold it with two hands, and even though it is a stabilizer, you don't want to be just loosey-goosey with it. It still helps to walk with smooth movements. How do you spot yourself? The key thing to do is know your route and just do a practice run, you know, so that you don't trip, you don't fall <laughs> into the pool. Personally, I like to wear some comfortable sneakers, some athletic shoes, mm. so I'm very mobile, you know, because mm. I like to get into Those some are really, really good moves, bro. Yeah, yeah. Some stretchy pants are good, so you can get nice and mobile, but you don't have to be a professional. Now, can you tell me if you were holding the camera, three stretches you would do to really get prepared? Would you do like one of these ones? What about this one? Would you do this one? Yeah, like a hip flexor. Stretch, a hip flexor? Dude. Okay. It's really underrated. Yeah, this is also a real good way to put the vibe out in bars. You've been single for too long, you want to put the vibe out, do this hip flexor. <laughs> if they're wearing heels, just be aware of that for audio. Tell her to pop off her heels. Going barefoot is good for audio. And then there's also just some basic stuff you want to be aware of, like mirrors, reflections. We're not going to get into a master class of lighting right now, but on a walkthrough, you're just going to be using the natural lighting. If your subject is up against the window, he's going to be backlit and that's going to be blown out. So typically, you want cameraman's back to the window. I'll also take you right now through what our walkthrough was, and I'll, I'll kind of talk to you about piece by piece what we did. What we did is we greet people at the threshold, right? Those two front doors. It's really important that we establish where we're at. And if you're in front of the house and you're in the community, it makes a lot of sense to the viewer to hear about the community. I do that because it builds a level of interest to the viewer, like what is he talking about? Where is this area? I'm curious. And then of course I tell you, not only are you lucky to be here in Carlsbad, you're lucky to see one of the greatest properties in Carlsbad. So as we walk through the living room, it's called show and tell. When you talk about something, you're showing it. So when I'm talking about a countertop, I'm dragging my hand on the countertop. The other thing is I like to stay nimble on my feet. You know, there's something playful about being physically available to the space. It's more interesting to the viewer because standing here stiff as a board is very boring. The whole idea around virtual is for the viewer to feel like they're actually there with you. And no one talks like this, right? If someone talks like that, they're a weird psychopath and you can check, you should check their criminal background. It's a better experience for the viewer. They feel like it's more dynamic and they do feel like they're there with you. And this property, the backyard is the most important thing. So we said, you know what? People aren't gonna wait around for eight minutes into this piece. They want the payoff now. 
because we're asking them to take time on an afternoon and watch our Google Hangouts virtual open house. We want to show the big payoff immediately to get them to keep watching. We end on the balcony, it's thoughtful, it gives you ability to pause and throw out some philosophic statements and a good conclusion with the most impressive view. So, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you have any questions on this Compass Academy video, let us know. Yeah. Did we get it all? I think.